Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD Beta video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to drive with FSD Beta. I've been requested a few times about it and uh, yeah, I listen to, mo uh, to most of my subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like my video, it'll help me a lot. And if you have any other requests, please let me know and uh, we'll get going with the tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how can you drive with FSD Beta. I know a lot of folks are are soon going to get FSD beta, especially version 11 coming up soon. Maybe I think even 69.4.1 uh, or that 3.2, I think. So yeah, um, this video is going to be mainly for folks that never driven before. So I'm just giving like an overview very quickly of the menu and what settings you can change with FSD. And then I'll show you uh, some driving techniques. Yeah, so the first thing is uh, you engage, you have turn on FSD uh, driving over here and then over here under the setting of full self-driving switched on you can find how many times you've got dinged and you have up to five strikes so if it doesn't show anything it says if autopilot disables five times due to improper use this vehicle has not had any such events so you can see that will sentence will change to you know you've got one strike or two strikes or so on and then there's also the assertive average and chill so I've driven on chill for a very long time I really don't find that it makes a big difference but play around with that a lot um, you know it depends on there's going to be a lot of lanes changing and stuff like that so play around with that a lot I had it on average for the longest time I put it on the start of night right now I really don't see much difference and the biggest the biggest one is this the offset so over here you have fixed and percentage and this is very important because uh, if you're driving in conditions like this where you have snow on the ground I prefer to go, oops, sorry about that. A lot of snow or um, a lot of ice, or even if it rains a lot in your area, I prefer to go on the speed setting, change it to fixed, and lower it down to, let's say, 15 kilometers an hour. I think in, in miles, it'll probably be 10 miles or, or eight miles an, uh, per hour or something like that. So. Uh, lower it down to minus 15 before you even engage FSD for the first time. I think that is very, very important. Or you can change it to percent and lower it down. But I find lowering it down with percentage uh, on slow roads like or internal roads like this, it won't really make a big difference. So I prefer fixed for FSD beta and go down to below at least minus 10 kilometers an hour. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I don't really change much other settings, to be honest. So forward collision warning, I always put it on medium. Lane departure avoidance, I put on assessed. So, yeah, I mean, like, oh, these are all my settings if you want to use them. Or if you want to use your own settings, um, that's, also, that's also okay. So, yeah, speed limit is the most important one. Sorry, for speed limit as well, I use um, plus 10 kilometers an hour. You can increase it more if you want. And I use relative. So yeah, that's uh, that's that. So the other thing also I wanted to show you guys, if you are trying to get FSD, all you do, if you want to really trigger it and try to download it because you know that other folks are getting it right now, you go to software and you scroll all the way down and you hit on advanced and then your car will start loading and says your car, your software has been updated or there's an update available and it kind of triggers it at that point. I find that's the best way to get a get a software update. I think the last two or three FSD beta softwares I've been getting, it was all through um, through this. I had to go manually to the car and, and uh, scroll down to software and wait for it to load and then it pops up and starts downloading. If I check through the app, it doesn't really change that much. So the other few things I'll add before we go is that I have a sign and I'll show a picture, I'll put a picture of it right now. I have a sign that shows that um, this car is being, uh, driven automatically or by autopilot and so be be aware uh, now I used to use this sign a lot at the beginning when I first started driving with FSD like six seven months ago uh, but FSD beta was terrible back then uh, right now it's way better so I don't really use that sign but uh, it doesn't hurt to put it um, I, I, th I recommend for the first few drives to put it on just so that uh, you know uh, people around you are more aware and they don't tailgate you and all that stuff um, so I'll get to tailgating soon. Let's go for a drive and I'll talk about the last few things that I wanted to mention. All right, so, so you hit on drive 
and then you wait until you get the symbol over here that shows FSD bit as in, you can engage it, which is the the steering wheel uh, icon, and then you just uh, uh, so we. I just wanted to make sure where am I now with the speed. Yeah, I'll just use nine kilometers an hour right now, or minus nine kilometers an hour, because I'm pretty much used to uh, FSD bed and snow, but I recommend lower than that for uh, new beginners. <clears throat> it's okay, I'll engage FSD and we'll see how it goes. So the most important thing when you're driving with uh, FSD beta is um, your situational awareness, basically. Be very, very aware about all the cars, all the person, or all the people, or all the pedestrians that are around you. And um, yeah, um, you know, uh, slowly you'll, your tolerance to disengage will increase as your confidence increases with the software. So right off the bat, you're not, don't like, don't like uh, just let it do whatever it wants and, and be confident with it. Don't do that because there's so many instances, even till now, that uh, FSD better just takes a sharp left or a sharp right. Or like right now, I don't know why it's going so close to that. Uh... Yeah. And the other thing, as you can see, I took over with the steering wheel, but what happens is that uh, the car still st uh, continues to move. So when you're taking over with the steering wheel, don't forget that your normal autopilot is still on or your basically your cruise control, which is the basic um, speed, uh, um, speed uh, um, what do you call it, like fixing of the speed and all that stuff. So when you're on a stop sign like this, check your left and your right and be very wary about uh, uh, when on the turn because and we've got some phantom braking over here. And always, always, the other thing as well, always check your rear mirror. So <clears throat> that is the most important thing. I, When I used to drive, at, you know, like when you when you go for your test and you're driving school and all that stuff, they always tell you you have to check your rear mirror every few seconds. I feel like I apply that much more rigid, like more, much more, much more strictly right now with FSD beta because you always have to know what's behind you because out of nowhere FSD beta is gonna hit the brakes and then if there's a car behind you it doesn't mean you can you should disengage and, and not drive with FSD beta keep your foot at the, on, floating just on top of the accelerator pedal that way um, if there's a slight phantom brake all you gotta do is just tap the accelerator a little bit and push the car forward so that it doesn't brake hard on, on the driver behind you so that's one of the key, key, most important, most important things. And, and FSD Beta is going crazy now over here just because of a snow bank. Ooh, yeah. I don't want, I don't want it to drive like that. So that's a disengagement. So even though I, I've driven, like, I, I think it's going to stop, but I don't want it to be in, in, a, in a situation where it's going to be uh, very awkward for other cars. So. Yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else. What else is there? Um, you know, like the situational awareness, defensive driving, apply defensive driving techniques a lot. You know, like if uh, if you think that you can like anticipate some situations gonna happen where it's not gonna be, uh, it's going to cause, you know, like a, a, an accident or anything like that. So like something like this, so the car starts sliding and um, you know you, you your car might lose control and hit the parked car you know that's very important to disengage at those moments so let's see about this turn how it's gonna do this turn so it's creeping forward it's not really completely st it's stopping completely for a yield but that's that's okay yeah and then so right now you can see the steering wheels adjusted straight and so and you're further away from parked cars so you're you're okay to keep FSD better driving like this. So yeah, that's uh, most of it. Let me let me park here and check my notes and see if the, if I missed anything else as well. Okay, so the other few things don't really um, when you get the sign where it says take over immediately. Hold on, I'm actually going to disengage completely and lower the speed. Uh, lower the FSD better speed again so the other thing is when you get the takeover immediately sign the red steering wheel I'll, I'll put it up on on the screenshot over here 
Um, when you get that, immediately disengage. Um, you know, that's not gonna go away. If you leave it on, it's not gonna go away. I tried for a bit. Um, I never actually got dinged, but I left it on, on for like maybe a second or two, uh, more than I, more than I to, like liked. And it still like didn't ding me. But once you get that, it's not gonna go away. Disengage and drive normally. Just save yourself uh, a strike. Um, so the other thing also, the most, one of the other more important things, just like similar to the checking the, the rear mirror, is always keep your hands like around the steering wheel. Like when it's turning around, let it slide. Like just keep your hands floating next to it and let it slide. If you have a yoke, just uh, try to try to work work away of like letting your hands slide around the yoke. I don't know how that's gonna work. I never tried the yoke to be honest. And the other thing is that if there's a pedestrian crossing, always keep your foot floating on top of the brake. Even if you're stopped at inter intersection, and um, you know, uh, even if the car stopped and FSD is engaged, and uh, there's a person there's a person uh, walking in front of you and you, you feel like the car is not gonna drive, just always keep your foot floating on the brake. You never know when FSD beta might glitch. Like, I'm sure, like, it never happened to me, but you never know when it could glitch and just, like, go, f like, accelerate. You, you never know. So, yeah, always keep your foot floating right on the brake. Always. I was hoping to find some pedestrians, uh, oops. And that person skipped their turn. Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, enjoy driving FSD beta. On internal roads, bump down the speed a lot. We're using the fixed uh, speed limit. Uh, and, uh, you know, like when you go to faster roads, like 80 kilometers an hour or, you know, like 60 miles an hour and all that stuff, just, um, yeah, like um, bump up the speed manually and like, uh, uh, and you'll be still okay. So right now I feel like I'm driving very slow. I just bump up the speed and I'm okay. So yeah, uh, be safe guys and always check your uh, surroundings whenever you're going on a left turn, right turn and all that stuff. Take it very slow, start with the internal roads, then start going to intersections. And um, yeah, don't really complicate, uh, complicate things, like do complicated drives all of a sudden, like from the beginning. And uh, yeah, you'll be okay. So thank you so much for watching. And if you really like this tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. So the other thing with FSD beta is that you have to, have to, have to be wearing a Tesla Christmas sweater to be able to drive with FSD beta. <laughs> I'm just joking. You don't need to. <laughs>